President Rodrigo Duterte signs the law providing free tuition for students of 112 state universities and colleges in the country. The Universal Access to Quality Tertiary Education Act is signed Thursday after a meeting between lawmakers and economic managers in Malacanang. Duterte's approval is unexpected given how his economic managers have openly opposed the bill, saying the government does not have enough funds to sustain it. Senior Deputy Executive Secretary Minardo Guevara says the president was convinced that the benefits of the bill outweigh its hefty cost. Guevara says it is now up to Congress to decide how best to fund the bill. Budget Secretary Benjamin Jokno earlier claimed the policy would require funding of 100 billion pesos, which the government cannot afford at the moment. But some lawmakers said figures shown by the economic managers were misleading and that only around 14 billion pesos would be needed to fund the law. The Justice Department charges Ozame City Vice Mayor Nova Paruhinog and her brother Reynaldo Paruhinog Jr. for illegal possession of firearms and drugs. Paruhinog Jr. is also indicted for illegal possession of explosives. The siblings in pending drug charges have a maximum penalty of life imprisonment. Under a criminal procedure, no person charged in an offense punishable by life imprisonment can post bail. <laughs> Special Counsel Robert Mueller has put together a grand jury to investigate Russia's interference with the 2016 presidential election, a step toward possible criminal indictments. The move is a sign that the sweeping federal investigation, which includes allegations that Trump campaign officials coordinated with Russia to tilt the election in the Republicans' favor, is gathering pace. The establishment of a grand jury will allow Mueller, a former FBI director, to subpoena documents and get sworn testimony. President Donald Trump has repeatedly denied allegations of collusion. But Trump has been forced to acknowledge his eldest son, Donald Jr., his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, and former campaign advisor Paul Manafort did meet a Kremlin-connected lawyer to get dirt in 2016 election rival Hillary Clinton.